Sometimes fans are too quick to give up on players if they're not a pro bowler right away, right out of the gate uh, as a draft pick. And uh, Josh Metellus is certainly one of those players. Also, you look at a guy like K.J. Osborne, never got the time of day as a rookie, uh, progressed and got things done. And and uh, Josh Metellus is a guy who could really have a compelling and interesting season in 2022, uh, despite three seasons of being a you know, backup safety as well as special teams guy. Because this year, in Brian Flores' uh, system, uh, I think that Josh Metellus has a chance to be the breakout player. He is 25 years young in a contract year, year four of his rookie deal. Uh, also towards the end of 2022, uh, after the injury to Brian O'Neill, uh, his te- teammates elevated him uh, to be the special teams captain, the ninth captain on the team. Uh, so he's got the respect of his teammates in the locker room, which is awesome. And he's been a starter in the Brian Flores defense. And we talked ad nauseum that something that Flores likes to do is he loves uh, versatility on the back end of his defense with his safeties. Uh, you look at Javon Holland with the Dolphins. You look at uh, McCourty with the Patriots and Josh Metellus could play that role uh, with the Vikings as that third safety, uh, basically a roving all-purpose defensive back, uh, playing split safety, playing single high, playing down the box, playing in the slot, playing at corner. He can do a lot of things. And Josh Metellus, his versatility, I think, is very underrated. I mean, last year, uh, he was the backup slot cornerback behind Shondon Sullivan, uh, if you remember that. And I, I think that uh, Metellus had a chance to really bust out and be that dude this year. And I'm excited, man, because... Uh, again, maybe fans gave up give up too much uh, too quickly on players. You see that with uh, the entire 2022 draft class, frankly, and they're always on to the next thing, the new shiny object. But Josh Metellus, I mean, this has been a crockpot. This is a slow burn. This is uh, a, a low and slow progression, and this year he may bust out. So let's talk about him today. Uh, background, 25 years young. Six-round pick from Michigan in 2020, and he's primarily been playing on special teams. Uh, two blocked punts uh, in back-to-back weeks, by the way, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but last year, 261 defensive snaps uh, were he, he was in and out uh, of the lineup uh, as a spot starter as well as a, a high-level sub. Uh, and he was a starter and the hero of the Lions game week three last year, calling game. Lo- love to see that. Also, he started the second Lions game and actually played pretty damn well. But uh, 85.1 PFF grade, uh, yes small sample size, but uh, fared well when he was on the field. Uh, 25 tackles on defense, one interception, uh, five passes broken up, and a 68.3 quarterback rating uh, when thrown out, which is which is good. Just pr- pr- pretty damn good per the stats. Mm. Uh, and and Metellus, I think I think he has a chance to be a real impact player, which is going to be really, uh, really interesting on this defense because uh, Flores is going to give you multiple looks. Uh, you're not going to roll, be rolling out the same defense every single time, and guys are going to be moving and grooving and uh, in a lot of unexpected places. And I think that Metellus, I think he's underrated as a blitzer. I think that he's underrated in coverage. I think that his versatility is a massive plus, and I think that this is the perfect spot for him where he's worked his way up from the bottom of the roster to a special team or to a guy that good things seem to happen when he's on the field, even though uh, last year the defense was quite poopy. Uh, maybe Josh Metellus should have got more run. But this year, uh, even though you do have Harrison Smith uh, giving it uh, one last ride, even though you do have Cameron Bynum, who started every single snap for the Vikings on defense last year, uh, and I do think that Josh Metellus, you know, even with Lewis Seen waiting in the wings, is going to get his uh, in the safety room. And I think that he's going to produce, and I think that he's going to really be the straw that stirs the drink on the back end of that defense. So I'm uh, really fired up for Josh Metellus. I can't wait to see what he does for Brian Flores and, you know, through OTAs and mandatory minicamp so far. Uh, we'll see it in training camp. You know, the fans will see it up close and personal and in the preseason and the regular season. So uh, it's very I'm very bullish on the future of the pride of Michigan, uh, Josh Mattel's Big year for Michigan, man. It's fantastic. But your thoughts are thoughts. Josh Mattel's breakout season incoming. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.